The Australian police have just discovered a home in Farmstead hastily abandoned. A station wagon is missing, along with five people. The Tromps have been on the road for 12 hours now. Mark has his pedal to the floor while Jacoba, his wife, and his three adult children nervously ride along. They find Mitchell's phone and throw it out the window. Then they drive 500 miles straight through the night, eventually stopping in Bathurst. It's at this point that Mitchell decides to be the first to abandon the trip. He makes his way to Sydney and then takes a train home. But with no idea where his family could have gone, he can only inform the police of the situation and wait. Strasbourg, Germany was a terrible place to live. In the 1500s, the town was economically stratified, dominated by a ruthless theocracy. In the late spring of 1518, a woman named Frau Trofeo would walk into the street and unceremoniously begin dancing. Mistress of the night. It's her own fault. The clergy is astonished by the way she gets it right. Rihanna is found catatonic in the back of a utility truck, having separated off with Ella from their parents and then going completely solo. She's taken to the hospital. Mitchell takes to television to ask the public to keep an eye out for his parents, who still have Ella's car. Without a car, Ella has no way to get home to feed her horses. She steals a car and drives it home. Not long after, Jacob is discovered wandering the streets of Yas in an agitated state. She's also taken to the hospital. 200 miles away, a young couple reports being stalked by the family's vehicle. The police move their search for Mark Trump into the Wangarata region. Frau Trofea is dead. After witnessing a strange dance of death, the town of Strasbourg could only descend into paranoia over why it happened and who was next. And just like it happened again. Many hundreds danced hysterical in a widely witnessed psychological ritual. A priest to clergy could manage to find a miracle to stop these funky peasants from getting physical. This all might seem surreal, apocryphal, yet we find a written in the documents peasants sent to this freaky frenzy as they crumble under the pressure, but ain't nobody stopping it. Surreal as it may be, we do ourselves a disservice to find this behavior unusual. After generations of exposure to brutal Dark Age dogma, the people of Strasbourg can only find their most nascent sense in fire and brimstone. Oh, he's gonna bring it down! Oh, he's gonna bring it down! The traditions of the San people are some of the oldest on Earth. San trance dance is a ritual by which a state of altered consciousness is achieved through rhythmic dancing and hyperventilation. Once the state of altered consciousness is achieved, a San shaman can psychosomatically heal sicknesses and negative aspects of their community. This practice can be seen in the rock art of southern Africa dating back thousands of years, a regular cornerstone of wellness to some of the Earth's very first people. Would you believe it? Germany in the 1500s. Not the healing type. Who to thunk? The human ability to attain an altered state is pervasive, and it appears that these states can be either very helpful or very harmful. Strasbourg did eventually stop dancing. Not everyone could die after all, that just wouldn't make sense. Of course, survivors of the death dance and witnesses to this were perplexed, no doubt frustrated by their faith. The very next year, pamphlets began circulating Europe promoting the Protestant Reformation, and Strasbourg became a stronghold. 15,000 peasants left their jobs in Strasbourg and went out to loot convents on the Greater Alsatian Plain. And Ella caught a Grand Theft Auto charge. I still can't get over it. She stole a fucking car. I needed to get home to feed my horses. <laughs> Mark Tromp was finally discovered running down a street near the Wangarata airport. As he was taken into custody, he gave the middle finger to the surrounding press. The police questioned him, but from a legal standpoint, he'd simply taken a road trip. He had no drugs or weapons on his person. He was sober and healthy. The police investigated looking for foul play or criminal activity, but all they found was an inexplicably frightened man. Mark's family was, of course, relieved to find him safe. Jacoba and Rihanna were let out of the hospital after their recoveries. Ella's theft charges were dropped, and Mark made an apology, taking responsibility for the whole situation. Still, he offered no explanation for why the family had fled to begin with. Here's what Mitchell had to say. It was a buildup of different normal everyday events and pressure, and it slowly got worse as the days went by. 
It's really hard to explain or put a word on it, but they were just fearing for their lives, and then they decided to flee. The family has since returned to business as usual on their farm. Share delusions, I can't trust my heart anymore. my heart.